Before the video starts, please make sure you like, subscribe and turn all notifications on for my channel so you will know exactly for when I upload or make a post. If you didn't know, I have a Discord server so you can ask me questions or give me video suggestions for my next upload. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today's video, I will be showing you how to remove the fake Arsenal scam virus, which I promised that I will show how to do in my first video. Now, if you are wondering why this video took so long for me to make, it's because the reason being is when I when I made the first video, it appears that they disabled their they disabled their crypto miner virus, the part where it installs itself and hooks itself to your Discord. They disabled it so that I couldn't um, I couldn't like um, install it on my own PC for me to test it. But the only so yeah that's that's the only part that i was affected but for those who were already infected um the virus was still running on their pc so the software that i'm going to use is process explorer now i like to use the software because it's well it's fairly easy to use and um i'm going to show you how i found this virus on my friend's pc i will leave a link in the description for this software if you want to use it but um yeah as you can see this is discord right here now you can notice that it has no icon it's probably because this is the this is the own custom made version of it for the real discord it would have the discord icon which this one does not so as you can see this is the crypto miner virus right here and um, you can see it's using a lot of resources a lot and this is mining cryptocurrency for them in my background as we speak right now now many of you noticed that when you open task manager like i will show you right now it will then close itself you see and they did it like that so that you couldn't find it anywhere in task manager um, now once i close it it should reopen itself in a couple of minutes which i'm not gonna sit here and wait for that but um i'm gonna show you how to remove it so first things first the one thing that you have to do is you have to close out of discord because that's infected so completely close out of discord i would advise you should leave task manager open so that the virus doesn't reopen itself so once you've done that next open control panel right here control panel next uninstall discord so uninstall it and then once you've clicked on uninstall discord it should do it just give it just give it time then it should uninstall itself within given time so yep there we go gone next once you uninstall discord um next go to press run app data and once you're in the app data section go back go back right here local Microsoft scroll down and then you can see four files right here this is the virus right here next what you got to do is you delete now as you can see this is still running in the background so what you can see we can just do you can just kill the process so you can just press yes to that and try again and then it should be gone all right now that that part of the now that that part of the virus is now gone next you should go right here let me just close this out real quick and minimize this all right you can go into task manager for this one um you see these two files right here this is also part of the virus so just right click here open file location these two files right here this is part of it so delete and once you've done that do the same for sound services then delete and once you've done that 
you're good to go. Then just empty out the recycle bin. And let me just install Discord. Let me just make sure, yeah, this is gone now. And then we close out Task Manager. Wait for Discord to open. There we go. Boom. This is the proper real version of Discord. See, all the icons are intact. And yeah, virus is gone now. So I hope this video has helped you out. Um, please share this video around just to get the word out that I've made a video on how to get rid of the virus. And hopefully the people who's in that server that is infected, I'm hoping that they look at this and they follow my steps on how to remove the virus from their computers. And yeah, it should be good to go. Other than that, um, sorry it took a while to, <laughs> to actually make this video. It's just that I didn't realize that they actually disabled the virus. I thought it just wasn't working for me, but it turns out I was correct about that whole thing this whole time. So, all right. Peace out. Have a good day.